Hey, it's Brian and Sean, 2A Guys in Gear. Today we're going to follow up on our high point uh, comparison videos and we're going to compare the high point 4595 versus Tommy gun. Yep, so uh, these guns have about three similarities that I can think of. They're both 45, they both have 16 inch barrels, and they're, they're both blowback operated. Oh, they both take magazines. And they take magazines. Other than that, it's, That's uh, about it. <laughs> it's apples and oranges. <laughs> so, but we just figured we'd come out and do a fun little video on this, uh, show you the differences of. I guess the old school uh, 45 carbine and yeah. then the uh, the present day 45 carbine. So, um, like we said, totally different. This is a, uh, I think it's a cast steel uh, receiver with uh, plastic stock on it. And that is... This is a milled receiver. Yeah, and that thing weighs a ton. Yeah, this probably weighs 10, 11, 12 pounds, something like that. It's, Unloaded. It's, it's heavy. Yeah, so, and uh, of course the high points, um, it, it's really the ergonomics on it and the weight on it, not bad at all. Um, obviously because it's a lot of plastic in it. Um, so I, that's one thing I like about the high point is that it's actually light and you throw it up and everything's right there as compared to that one. If you shoulder that one, I mean, it's yeah. odd, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it feels a little funny because it's so far right yeah back yeah and it's that like the length I think, of pulls the way it drops down exactly the the, the edge of the buttstock versus the yeah. top of the receiver right. it's it's got a big difference to it but it makes up for it in cool factor it does it you have awesome <laughs> super cool factor right. I, I don't care what you say about it it's just cool <laughs> so and another thing that has the 30 round mags um this one does not take drums but it has a 30 round mag so obviously it, it beats the high point hands down on that our only thing that we have going for us is we can have two spare 10 round mags on our buttstock. So you've got that, but a 30 round mag, one 30 round mag versus two reloads is better any day. And I think the original configuration was full auto and 10 inch barrel. Yeah, I think it's 10 and a half inch barrel, which uh, this thing is in drastic need of a form one to get yeah. this thing uh, brought back to its original length. So, um, but yeah, so hopefully we can get that done one of these days. And, uh, but this is the M1 version. It's not the, uh, I think it's the M1928 version. So this one does not have, uh, does not have the capabilities for a drum. It does not have the cuts compensator on the end and the sights on it are very basic. So yes, they are, it's called the, uh, the battle sights. Um, and basically all it is, is a uh, rear peep sight, non-adjustable as to where the high point does have a set of adjustable sights. Granted, I've pulled them off and I've put the, uh, the Hilux micro B dot on it. Um, so night and day difference there. But um, the battle sights do good. I mean, obviously it got us through World War II. So. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> shoot, I mean, you can put a pretty tight group down with yeah, it. Yeah, you can. Um, you know, at, at close range. But um, I think this one's made by Auto Ordnance. That is, it's Auto Ordnance. Um, so it's a new manufacturer. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, I do too. My biggest thing with that gun is getting used to shouldering it. Because when you shoulder it, it takes a little bit to kind of, I don't yeah. know, for me anyways, to kind of get into it. Well, see... You're not even supposed to shoulder these. Oh, that's true. With the drum, right? It shot it's from the hip. hip. I totally right. forgot about that. So that's why they did that. <laughs> they did it so it wasn't comfortable. Right. <laughs> right. So, um, but yeah. So we just figured we'd do a quick little comparison. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. It was a fun little video. So I guess we're gonna get down here and do some more shooting. Yep. Alrighty. Well, uh, thanks for watching. If you like us, please subscribe. See you. one time <laughs> awesome high point baby gotta love it see you